24 hours is well and truly underway. We've had some great racing thus far, and it all began with this 155-strong field pouring its way down towards the Mercedes Arena, with Mauro Engel converting pole position into the race lead. He was able to fend off the great battle behind, involving Lance David Arnold. And Kevin Astrid, the opening lap, as Augusto Farfus's BMW was tagged into a spin. Around he went, others had to take evasive action. And bearing in mind the length of the lap, the length of the race, perhaps it was a surprise that everybody was going for the same bit of real estate down at the first corner. They all survived, except for Farfus. It wasn't really his fault. He was turned into the spin by the KCM G Nissan behind. And the GT4 Black Falcon Mercedes was left with nowhere to go. This was the view that Steph Dusseldorf had of it all, plunging down towards the first corner. Grass and gravel being thrown at him, bits of car as well. He turned right, he turned left, and then was confronted with a very crowded house. Eventually there was some gap, and he found a BMW right in his path. Up front, Mauro Engel was able to build the advantage over the opposition as Kevin S made his move against Lance David Arnold, and through he came. The two absolutely flat out on the run, up Dutiger Her heading towards the end of the lap, and Maxi Gertz looking on from the pit lane saw not only his car lose a place to the Porsche, but then there was more to come because Lance David Arnold got stuck on lap two in the traffic and round the outside of him went the number one Porsche last year's winning combination of drivers, Hans Heyer looking on from the pit lane. So that gave it a situation of Mercedes Porsche Porsche in the opening laps and then Kevin S made his move against Mauro Engel. He just fractionally nosed ahead but on the outside line had to see the place. The Mercedes back through on the inside line. Number one, Porsche pitted early, and that meant it would be a shorter pit stop. The more laps you do, the longer you serve in the pits on the first stop. So, out would get opening stint driver Patrick Pile, in would get Fred Makaviki, and Makaviki was able to rejoin the race in the lead once the pit stops had unwound. Engel and Est, however, having battled on the track, battled in the pit lane. They came in at the same time. The Mercedes fractionally ahead of the Porsche after a very impressive opening stint by both drivers. The Manti Racing Squad ready to do the driver change. So too Black Falcon ready for the pit stop. But Mauro Engel stayed in the car, double stinting, whereas other teams, largely in fact against the Mercedes way of doing things, were single stinting drivers. Makaviki then threw into the lead of the race. Mauro Engel's car would rejoin in second. And Michael Christensen, taking over from Kevin Est, would rejoin joined in third spot as the cars blasted their way back down the pit lane and back into the race. Makaviki then set about trying to build that lead. He was doing a good job about it as well. The Porsche looking rapid. David Pittard's BMW had got up into fourth place. That then had damage out on the circuit somewhere. And worse was the come for Makaviki. He had a puncture heading onto the Nordschleife and he had to limp round for really two thirds of a lap. The car plunged from the lead down to 34th place and they're still inevitably playing catch up. They're out of sequence on pit stops. Patrick Pile is back behind the wheel of the car and as Ricard Leeds took over, the car had a lot of work to do and that was the end. There was no purple rain to do the job but that was the end of the Ferrari and the end of his race. Out on track, battles raged on between Mercedes and BMW. 98 had stopped early with Conor de Filippi at the wheel and Rene Ras was soon ahead of him in the Audi blasting his way up the field. Audi's looking quick from the onboard footage, but at the moment they're still trying to work their way up the order, but it could be that they'll get there late in the race. But then 98 had contact out at the back of the circuit, and the car had to be towed out of harm's way. BMW, with really only a few hours gone, is having a pretty torrid time, it must be said. And Hans-Peter Naundorf's team, having already lost number 99 with damage, seeing 98 in...